grass. Not all of us practice perfect posture, and so what I find is that upper back and neck area gets so, so tight. So I'm going to start with tennis balls because most of us have tennis balls at home. You may not have a foam roller, but if you do, we're going to cover that as well. And I'm going to turn away from you so that you can see what I'm doing. So we're basically working above the shoulder blades today. One of the most important things you can do, and I might keep my head up because of my hair and you can see me, is um, reduce the stress in the trapezius muscles and any muscles around the shoulder blades. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingertips and you're gonna shove the tennis balls at the top, and I'm gonna drop my head so you can see, at the top of the shoulders, base of the neck. And then you're gonna start to knead. Now normally I want you to keep your head on the floor, but I'm gonna keep mine up so you can see me. Now every time I move, every single time I shift and move my body, I'm gonna change the position of the tennis ball. And that way you're kneading, you're doing a kneading effect on those muscles. These muscles get tight because of poor posture, um, head placement, texting, driving, um, so many things. And if you have a much more relaxed trapezius and upper back, it helps you position your head better, which helps with circulation. There's so many reasons why you want to have a trapezius that's soft. And you might notice that you have a lot of crunchiness or discomfort up there. Don't go too deeply. If you've got your head on the floor, you don't have to push too hard. And so I'm moving it around quite a bit, even though it may not look like it. You can go down the back a little bit and to the sides, but stay off the spine. When you find a spot that's tender, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to bring your arms up. I'm going to drop my head so you can see this. And I want you to wiggle on it. That's going to help knead out some of that very tight tissue that's going to feel fibrous. And if you change your arm position, it's going to change the way it feels. So this is going to feel very different than this, the huggy arm. So as you're rolling side to side, you're going to move them around, change the arm position, wiggle it up. And if you want to go more intensely, you're going to raise your booty in the air. That's going to drive your body weight into the trapezius. And then you're going to wiggle around on that as well. So that's a great way to reduce stress up on the trapezius muscle. Then you want to get behind the scapula. So one of the ways you can do that is follow the arm, place the tennis ball at the base of the shoulder, right there, drop it to the side, support your head, and wiggle on it. You're going to find a couple of spots there that are very tender. And then you're going to lift, drive it into the shoulder blade, and do what I call compressions. Lift, press, push. Now you want to do this very softly to start, but this is going to reduce pressure in the shoulder blade, in the muscles behind that area. And notice I'm supporting my head as I rock over. This is called compression work. Super effective to reduce strain in those muscles. Start light and progress. Also, if it's too intense, use tennis balls that are really squishy instead of new ones like I've got because I'm used to doing this. I was the first presenter on myofascial release in 2003 at a major convention, and I've been doing these techniques for a long time because I really needed them. I was in a lot of body stress at that point in my life. I had a lot of body stress. So I'm going to show you a secondary, um, uh, let me turn a little bit more, a different position with the foam roller. We're going to start off doing those compressions just like I did with the tennis ball. Hands behind the head to support the head. You're just going to rock over and compress. I'm right into the armpit and then up and over. So you can do this a little higher and a little lower. So what I found is a lot of people are doing some kind of flexibility, maybe yoga, maybe a bar class, but you need to cross-train your flexibility. And so it's the myofascial release incorporated into my stretching that really made a difference in my body and has kept me working and moving all these years. I have less pain now than I did in my 40s, 30s or even 20s. So up and over, that's a great one. And then if you want to get that tissue 
up above the scapula bra line. You're gonna lift your hips in the air and you're gonna roll back and forth. You need the hips up to create the leverage. Try not to yank on the head. You don't wanna overdo the pressure in the neck. You wanna keep it neutral. And this is really gonna help reduce the strain in the trapezius. And then you can also do little kneading like we did with the tennis ball. Just a rocking from side to side, a little higher, a little lower. And then you're just gonna finish off with a nice clean flush. I hope that helps with your upper back stress and better posture. Oh my gosh, it helps open up that chest immediately. If you have any questions about myofascial release, jot them down. If not, I will see you on Monday for Resistance Monday. Have a great weekend.